Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to start making Twitter clone app. As you can see I already opened a new project and set up my own project. I will give you a quick demo what I to show you what I did. The first thing I was adding the frameworks. Go to parse.com, download the SDK then add it to your project then scroll down to add another frameworks which are not included in the parse SDK you have to add them manually in Xcode project for example audio toolbox you go to Xcode project scroll down in the target plus button then write audio toolbox double click or select then click add I already added it please make sure that you have add all these frameworks because some features if does not have uh, necessary required uh, these uh, required frameworks these fr features will not will work so make sure that you have all these framework included to your X Xcode project then go back to parse.com scroll down the next step is connecting your app to parse it's real easy just copy this line of code which is objective c code then paste it in app delegate in xcode project then you have an error because it is objective c we have and we are using swift first thing you have to import parse just like this then go to did finish launching with options function write it in this way starting with parse the class dot select application ID copy the application ID and paste it here then client key paste it here then you are done so this is what I did so let's get started Twitter clone app it's real easy and simple some features I'm going to do my best to add to your Twitter clone app such as profile image username date and time uh, uh, size to fit uh, to maximize and minimize the cell and other features like PF purchase and an app purchase sorry also uh, remote notification push notifications and so on all right go and select twitter right click new file you have we have now to add two classes one class the first class for the view controller uh, the table view controller the second class the table view controller consists of cells so we need a, to create a, a, ca a class which is for cell select iOS source Coco touch class click next make sure that subclass of UI table view controller then name the class is Twitter then long language will be Swift next create then go the same procedure to create the cell delete cell all right let's name the class twitter cell language is swift click next it's real easy and simple select these two classes and drag it up and here Go to storyboard and delete the view controller because we are dealing with the table of view controller. Alright. Then go to Arpitude Inspector and make sure to check the is initial view controller. To start the application with this view uh, with this table of view controller. Alright. Select the view uh, table of view controller, go to identity inspector, uh, assign the class 
which already created Twitter all right then select the cell and assign the class to Twitter cell go then to uh, Arpitude inspector then write your own reuse identifier because UI table view consists of cells and we need to reuse these cells every time so we need an identifier it's really easy just write cell notice that if you have this cell the, this name which is cell and you write in the code uh, for, for example you forgot where the C was capital and you write it a uh, small letter then you, your app will be crashed <laughs> sorry to hear that but these these things you have to be careful with alright please go to Twitter in this tutorial we are going to cr just to create two things the first thing is variable which is an immutable array to handle uh, many things because we are going to retrieve photos uh, username um, uh, and other things string number whatever so we need have we need an immutable array so we can change the type anything you want all right don't use in array in array you have to declare which type so in array of type integer or of type string and so on to start with you have to import the SDK for parse so import parse then under the class Twitter declare variable which is timeline you can name it anything but this tutorial will cover the timeline of Twitter all right all right of type um, ns mutable array equals to ns mutable array what I did here is initialize this variable to an immutable array so we don't have any values right now all right then we have to de uh, we have to create a function to retrieve data from parse using pf query let's start with simple things because our function is void function all right let's start with func for function let's name it load load data without any parameter open a bracket and close it the first thing if you want to load the data you have to make sure that you have any or you have we we don't have any objects inside the UI table of you so we can reload it or reload it again all right let's start using the variable timeline dot remove all objects then let's declare a variable which is find timeline of data of type pf query equals to pf query open parentheses class name string class name let's name it for just here twitter because we didn't create class and parse database so after that you have to use this variable to find objects all right find timeline data dot find objects in package ground with block deleted 
delete it, then open a bracket. This step, I have to copy and paste it because if I write it, I don't know what's wrong with this uh, Xcode or Swift, but there is a problem with it. So I'll paste it here to make sure that it will work. To see if it's work, yeah, nothing error. Because if I write it, I don't know what's happened, but <laughs> it's real confused. So uh, anyway, you you will get this file uh, in the description below. Don't worry about that. Hope hopefully the uh, uh, hopefully Apple will resolve this problem as soon as possible. Then we have two parameters which is objects of type any objects array right which is unwrapped then we have error of type ns error also unwrapped will return void that means return nothing alright let's check if error equals to null that means nothing, nothing happened or no error uh, appear. Alright, then we have to uh, we have to use for loop object and objects. Alright, open a bracket and close it. Let's create. Uh, constant which is pf object constant so let twitter of type pf object equals to object dot uh, or sorry as pf object after that self dot timeline dot add objects twitter make sure you have you have select pf object twitter of type pf object not twitter of type class twitter all right these simple things you will make your app crash Alright, after that, declare a constant which is array. Let array of type ns array. Okay, equals to self dot timeline dot reverse dot all object all right then self dot timeline equals to an s mutable array open a parenthesis array of type array all right finally we have to reload data in the table so just line of code self dot timeline uh, sorry uh, table view dot uh, reload data it's not it's just calling reload data then the table will reload itself all right it's a real easy function if you need it uh, in the future just copy it and change the class name that's it so let's recap what's what we are done here we declare a variable of uh, of type uh, an immutable array to change that type any anytime you want then we create uh, a function and name it load data the starting function is Timeline dot remove all objects to make sure that we don't have any objects inside them in a immutable array, which is timeline. 
then declare variable find timeline data of type pf query so it's retrieve so p query the twitter class name from parse database then we use the find timeline data objects pf of pf query dot find objects in background with block to retrieve data from parse then use the these uh, these parameters objects of any type object in array then error of type ns error which is returning void all right if er then check that if uh, error equal equals to null so we don't have any errors for loop object and objects creating a constant uh, name it uh, twitter of type pf object then equals to object as pf object then self dot timeline dot object open parentheses to twitter all right then creating a, an array of type ns array equals to self dot timeline dot reverse object eliminator dot all objects finally we have self dot timeline equals to an immutable array array of type array all right finally we have to reload data uh, in, inside the table view so just write self dot table view dot reload data so this is it for this tutorial guys see you to the next part of this tutorial to make it simpler and easy we have just done the hard part of twitter clone app is retrieving data from parts and updating it all right see you, so see you to the next tutorial guys